Right, so Mindy, you, you, I, I am your second marriage. Yes. And um, marriage is a is a is is, is sort of a, I think it's sort of a hot topic for for some people. Some people don't don't want to get married. Right. Some people do. Some people have uh, a tough time staying married. Mm. Marriage is tough, right? Yeah. And you've had that experience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you've had kind of both experiences. Um, in this marriage, mm -hmm. you're still in it. We've been in it for a long time. Um, but when you first got married, your very first marriage, was it scary to you? There was a the thought of it oh, yeah. scary to you? It was scary because I was so young. Yeah. yeah. And there was sort of the uh, feeling like I shouldn't be doing this. How old, so how old were you when you first got married? Your um, first marriage. Oh, wow. Gosh, I really don't know. You don't remember? I don't. Um, I want to say 18 or 19. Okay. And then you were married about seven years or but something But I was like with that? him since yeah. when I was 16. Long time. 15. Long time. So you guys were together a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, got married a couple years out of high school. And then um, so you, and you were married about seven years. Yes. Right? Something like that? Yes. Um, so what was it that was scary to you? Were, was there anything in particular or just an overwhelming, scary feeling? Well, there was a couple things that I involved. Um, my mom did not like him. Oh, okay. That, that's a big one. And yeah. so, you know, yeah. going into a marriage when you don't have that support. Yeah. Um, that's tough. That's tough. And then just, just the idea of getting married or no adulting adulting yeah you know uh how do you do everything from because at that time we didn't really have our own house yeah um we didn't know how to adult weird you know? right isn't yeah. that weird we but we we're in love you know it was just we got to get married it was so dumb when you think about it when i think about it back i'm just wow you know what what was i thinking well, you're thinking a lot of uh, the things that a lot of people are thinking, you know, that it, you're, you're definitely from a generation that does feel like get married, you know, make that, make that connection, make that tie, make that commitment. I also think too, I got married for wrong reasons, looking back, because I think not having a father figure in the house, mm -hmm. um, that played a big part into why yeah. I even got married. What do you mean young. by that? I think because I was, well, I was looking for love in all the wrong places. Ah. I think if there was a father figure in the home, um, that would have been maybe different. You might have picked somebody different. Right. Yeah, you weren't trying to fill there, there a void. There was no guidance, I would say, from a man figure. I see. So. So, and, and just to frame it a little bit, your dad wasn't real, your your real dad. My real dad and mom divorced when yeah. we were pretty young. Uh, and he lived in Michigan. Yes. And then my mom and I, or us kids, lived in uh, California. So, so you had some stepfathers. Yes. And they were not what I would consider father figures. Well, one in particular. One in particular. Yeah. Because the one that she's uh, currently married to is a, is a great human being. Yes. Um, and he's been a great father he, to you. Yes. He's... So actually been more of a father than my real father yes and in fact he even got to walk you part of the way down the aisle he did. in our in our wedding yes well i'll say my my thing about getting getting married one of the things it's weird for me when i say i i uh if i ask the question was i afraid i think i was more afraid of uh moving in you know, and that, that thing that you talk about adulting, yeah. you know, and, and can I adult? Because I was pretty young. Yeah. You were what? 22, 22, 23, yeah. something like that when we moved in together. And probably had the same feelings for you, right? You totally, I wasn't even sure I was ready to be committed fully to you. Like <laughs> I didn't know that I, I didn't at that point, I did not want to like, I wasn't even thinking about spending the rest of my life with you. Right. I was just thinking about getting the hell out of my parents' house because <laughs> they, they were not getting along and it was, I got tired of it. Yeah. You know, I was like, I got to get out of there. Um, and then af very shortly after that, they ended up getting a divorce. But um, yeah, I just couldn't be around it anymore, you know? Yeah. Um, and I just was like, that's it. I got to go. Yeah. And so I, I jumped in and we moved in together and we, and we bought a house together. Which was crazy to think about. Right. I we, And that itself, right. I didn't have a home because, you know, I went through a divorce and yeah. 
I was living with uh, another lady, you know, in a different house. Yep. I was uh, renting a room, basically. So when you and I got together, it, it kind of was doing it all over again, adulting. Yeah, wild. And then we bought a house on top of it. We did. So that Which was, was crazy. Uh, yeah. That's, I mean, and for me. But probably our, one of our smartest things. It one, And I, that's what I'll say about us. It's grit, that we have a lot of grit. I mean, we didn't know anything. I, I will say you knew more than me, right? And yeah. and the U-Haul sh <laughs> showed that. U-Haul was filled with Mindy's stuff. And <laughs> so I had a little crap. tiny, little tiny corner. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you knew a little bit more about adulting, which was great. Mm -hmm. I had a little bit of an advantage. You you showed me things I didn't really know in terms of that, Yeah, uh, which was great. Cool. But I will say we had a lot of grit. We just kind of grinded it out and made stuff happen even um, when it was difficult. It yeah. But marriage can be scary for a lot of people. And I, you know, I don't have any stats really, but I know a lot of people lean more towards putting it off these days. They're a little bit more reluctant to get married. Mm -hmm. um, if I look at my family, if I just look at my own family, right? Mm -hmm. My sister's been married, but no longer is married. My mom never remarried. Uh, Stephanie is married to David, but her brothers, my stepbrothers, are not married. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so I can. It's very clear that marriage is is something that people don't always want to do, and there's pretty good reason for it. They right. consider it to be scary, and I'm going to run through some of the reasons why people oh, think okay. it is scary. Uh, the first one is commitment phobia. Mm. Some people may fear the commitment required for marriage. Uh, they worry about losing their independence yeah, or feeling trapped in a relationship, which is interesting, right? Yeah. Because it, it, it's true. You, you do lose some of your independent freedoms that you might have had before. Yeah, like I can remember um, before we got married, I was like really nervous about doing that again. Mm. Cause I, I, I wanted to make sure, and I think we did it right. I think there was like a period of five years between dating and living together and then finally marriage, but I, I needed that. I think yep. I wanted to make sure that I just wasn't jumping into to another, another relationship. relationship. Yeah. And so I do remember being very nervous about, you know, getting married a second time and it failing, you know, I think both of us can have that in common because we watched our parents marriage fail other yes. than your mom your mom has succeeded in her her third and so has my dad in his third yes um but but being a part of those broken ones yeah. makes you go oh do i even want to get involved with that R right right and you know maybe that's where a lot of people are with that totally know, feel had, that way you know and, and that's if, if i go back to my step uh family mm -hmm. sister and two brothers they were part of a broken family as well, obviously, yeah, because we're merged now. Uh, the next thing is fear of failure. The mm. fear of divorce or relationship failure can be a significant obstacle to marriage. People may worry about making the wrong choice or being hurt in the future. I will say it's a legitimate fear. I will I will say even if you decide to remain married, you're still going to have moments of hurt. Oh, hurt is going to be sure. a part of marriage it's going to be a part of the process i think even you know kind of putting our own stuff out there there was a, a big part of me that was damaged for a mm. long long time from my first husband and uh i think there came a point in our relationship where you said i'm basically not your yes first husband, correct you know and i you know i had to take that and yeah work it out because and it it I carried that a long time. And you did. And that's where I, you know, I give you a, cre a lot of credit. I give myself a lot of credit because it, for me, it was all new. Uh, it's going to be all new for anyone. It, mm -hmm. it really is. But we're, we came into it, you know, not the best versions of ourselves. And, right. and the thing about marriage, which is wonderful, if you can realize it and get to the other side of it, if you're, if you remain committed and if you're not, if you, if you decide not to let it fail, right. Right. 
you just become better versions of yourselves in, in the long run. Uh, yeah, I agree. You really do. The next thing is financial concerns. Marriage often involves merging finances, which can be a source of stress and anxiety. People may worry about debt, financial instability, or the loss of financial independence. What's interesting about that to me is that is true. When you get married, you do inherit your spouse's bad financial habits or good or for good. that matter. But what you do gain and that's it's a super prevalent thing right now you gain two incomes right mm -hmm. assuming you're not having kids and there's not a stay-at-home situation um at least initially you're gaining two incomes which oh my goodness how can you survive without two incomes i don't even know in, in today's how people life. do it so that's a very positive thing i think you should not be necessarily concerned about that but i do believe before you get married these are conversations that you have to have. Yeah, absolutely. If you, if we you, talk about it all the time about finances. I think it's the number one thing. You have to be in alignment. If you're not, don't get married to that person. I really do believe that. Me too. I do believe that. Uh, the next thing is loss of identity. Some people may fear losing their sense of self within a marriage. Uh, they may worry about becoming too dependent on their partner or losing their individuality. And I will say that can happen. And I've seen it happen in some marriages. But you have you, you have to have those conversations. That's where people say communication is valuable in yes. marriage. So you need to be say you need to say, look, this is who I am, mm -hmm. and I may mess up, and I know that I probably need to be a better version for you at times. But this is who I am, and this is who I want to continue to be. And I think you can have an in have independence in a marriage and have it be successful. I think I actually think it's very it's needed. It is needed. I know we've, I think you go through, um, chapters in, in your relationship. Like they always say, like, there's a seven year itch. We talked about that before. And, and another podcast where I think the honeymoon period is over and then oh, you sure. sort of get settled in and you kind of looking around, like what else is there? I think that's what the seven year itch is. But I also think in your marriage, you go through, um, you know, uh, chapters, I guess is what I'm going to call it because I myself have lost myself, you know, in, in our marriage. Mm -hmm. And we've had, um, several, you know, talks about that kind of thing where you both have to have your own thing that you, you do, do outside of the marriage. It's, mm -hmm. it's so important. 100% you do. 100% yeah. you do, but you don't know those things. If and, you bolt the first time that it scares you. Right. And that's kind of what happens people go oh i'm losing myself and they 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 bolt but it, there is a possibility for you to stay in it right and still be yourself if you have those conversations uh, the next thing is changing dynamics marriage can significantly change a person's life and this can be a source of fear uncertain and uncertainty uh, people may worry about adjusting to new roles and responsibilities that is true oh my gosh that is so true <laughs> you still battle with i that. do i do battle it because i have always been one of those people that I'm not the traditional uh, uh, man. I am, an, I am, and I'm not. I mean, I am the man of the house, and I feel that way, and I do take out the trash, right? <laughs> like not very well. <laughs> but I'm also a different type mm. of of man in the sense that I'm creative, you know. Mm. So I like to go do creative things, and I like to be 100% immersed in those things. I don't want to be distracted from them. Um, that was a very big struggle in the beginning of our marriage. It's it's much different now. I think we've had such great conversations that you know it and you let yeah. me do it. What's also really great <laughs> is this chapter in our life now where you're also now immersed in creative things. Yes. Which is really awesome for me <laughs> and I think for you because it's giving you this sense of purpose that you maybe didn't feel before. Right. I'm rediscovering what yeah. I probably should have been doing all along. It's great. Yeah. And and I get to do my thing. And we're and there's different. not enough time in the day. There's not. There's not. <laughs> That's, that is totally true. All right. The next thing is societal pressures. Societal expectations and pressure can also contribute to fear about marriage. People may feel pressured to get married at a certain age or to conform to traditional gender roles. Mm. Uh, I think that's true. I, I think people feel that a, a lot. And, and a lot of times when people feel that pressure, they rebel against it. Yeah. Did you feel any of that? Um. Or did you always know you'd be someone who'd get married? Yeah, I guess I did. I yeah, mean, I, same I, with me. I always wanted to be married. Um, I, I, I didn't 
really know about the kid thing. And, you know, we've discussed that. We don't really need to go into that. But I think I struggle with um, the part where I lost myself is what society feels a wife should be. Should be. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I, I, I've lost myself several times in not only my first marriage, but in our marriage, not being creative or not, you know, nurturing that part of myself. Nurturing, you know, what, what you're, I think you're trying to say is nurturing your own identity. Right. Um, instead of having your identity wrapped up in in me. But I will say, and I think that that's... Well, it wasn't just you either. It's like a job. Anything. Yeah. Anything. You know, it, it's, it seemed like there always things come before self, job, uh, cleaning, you know, uh, you know, just stuff. I get it. But I do think that I love that about you. And I, I think that that is the same with me. You know, there's no decision that I make. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the same with you that I don't consider how it would impact you or how, or how you'd feel about it. Uh, any of those things, I never make these wayward, independent decisions. It's always, it's, right. there's always an us. Yeah. There's never a me. You right. know what I'm saying? But I think you were talking about like gender roles. C correct. And well, so, I, said, I was talking about societal pressure. Yeah. But, and, I, and that's where I feel like, you know, there's pressure in a woman to be the cook, mm. the cleaner, the, um, you know, go to work responsibilities, you know, just keeping, keeping a house and, uh, you know, providing for the house because it's two income, right? Right. You know, what time is there left in the day for yourself? Well, but you have to make it. You That's, do. You do have to make it. Yeah. You're right. And luckily in our case, not luckily because we, you know, it would have been nice to have kids maybe, but we didn't have kids. I see. I so couldn't imagine, imagine adding that. that to the equation. Right. <laughs> That's even more challenging. And then the last thing is personal experience. Mm. Past experience with relationships or marriage can make people hesitant to hesitant to commit again. Absolutely. If someone has experienced a painful divorce or difficult relationship, they may be more likely to fear marriage and with good reason. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't. Uh, blame them. Like I said, my mom never remarried, um, and uh, she never will. I don't. I, I don't think. Uh, I don't think that she necessarily didn't want to. It just didn't happen for her. Right. Um, but maybe that was part of it. I don't really know. I've never really had that conversation with her. But I definitely have had conversations with people. You know that uh, were afraid of getting back in. Well, you know, I can. I can see. How long were your parents married? 25 years. So that's, it's a really long time. Like, you know, I'm just thinking from a woman's point of view where you give yourself, because she did have kids. She did keep a home. She tried to keep a business. You know, she was trying to do all those things, right? And because sometimes I think, you know, something happened with us, you know, I probably wouldn't either marry again. No, no, I wouldn't either. And it's just because, you know, it, it's, it's uh, marriage is, is a constant, like you said, thinking, putting the other person side by side, you know, with, with all your thoughts. It's an us. It is an us thing, right? It's yeah. a we thing. It's a, you know, that's, that's the, that's the only way it works. It is the only way it works. It's no different than saying this statement. I worked at a job for 30 years. I retired from that job. I don't want to go back to that job. You know, it, 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 it and not to say that marriage is a job, but it is, there it are, is. there is work involved. And if you've gotten through that, especially a long marriage, you know, and I, and I, and we didn't say it at the beginning for anybody that might be a new listener, we've been together, we've been married 22 years. Yes. Um, you know, for me, that it's there's so much investment it's i mean it's no different than and i'll take i'll talk about this a little bit later starting a new youtube channel all the work you put into the one to get to the place that you want to be and to just start over completely fresh <laughs> i mean that sounds like a lot of right. work i'm just not really interested in that level of work you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i don't blame people for not wanting I'm, to dive in right again. i can't even imagine starting over but i will say if you do it right and if you if you remain committed right yes if you go all if you if you or if you have the ability to go back further in the story and remember why you got together to begin with and try to hold on to that 
like it's the, like it's your first day and your last day mm -hmm. in a lot of ways uh, and you just remain committed you, you can get through that stuff you really yeah. can it takes two people absolutely i mean we we had some major ups and major downs and and it gets easier though yeah it does get easier and better yeah and better absolutely so, it does to wrap it up it's an important it's important to remember these uh that these fears are normal mm -hmm. and understandable if you're struggling with anxiety about marriage it's important to talk to your partner a trusted friend or a therapist as well uh, by addressing your fears and concerns you can make an informed decision about your future i think you have to be on the same page about a lot of different things but that's not always the case i mean most people get married like we did young mm -hmm. uh didn't really know everything about each other um you didn't know that i was on check systems for example <laughs> and could open an account <laughs> right uh, but i had very small amount of debt <laughs> yeah well both of Which us we great. didn't really have bought the piss and really but, but uh, yeah. we, we, you know, we learn all that together. But, you know, the, the one thing we uh, talk about a lot is uh, always turn to each other and yes. never turn to the outside. And what that what what that means is it may mean something different for everybody. But what I, what we mean by that is if we're having a discussion or an argument, I don't go to my friends, complain about you, say bad things right. about you. Uh, I never allowed myself to have a place to go. So if we did get into an argument and I got in my car and drove, guess what? I'm turning around at some point and coming back and coming right back home to work it out <laughs> a little less mad <laughs> and, and it worked and it all, and it always worked for, right. for us. <laughs> uh, so we want to give you some updates. We did get through hurricane Milton. Yes. Um, it did come right over the top of us. Uh, but of course it's it, the way it works here in, in Florida, it, not not always because sometimes it hits the east coast as well but in this case it hit the west coast first mm -hmm. so by the time it got to us it was more in the category one uh hurricane status there were quite a few tornadoes that came up from this yeah, which is really unusual for florida i think um but but yeah we were getting about 80 mile an hour gusts overnight um, but we actually fared really, really well in this storm. It was it was scary at times. It was scary. It sounds like a freight train. It's wild all night long. Nothing like it. Um, nothing nothing like it at all. But Hurricane Ian, in my opinion, was way worse. It was a longer storm, a bigger storm. See, now it lasted I felt way different. I felt like this one was different. Yeah. Okay. Well, everybody's different, and, and, and we <laughs> we all have a different memory of, of how things went. This one scared the crap out of me. Yeah. It had some crazy gusts. Well, we didn't lose power. Uh, yeah, there that was were amazing. There were people. Too two streets over that lost power and they just got their power back, yeah. which is wild. Uh, we had a little minimal cleanup compared to Ian. Ian had yeah. way more cleanup yeah, than this one. Yeah, that was a mess. Uh, I think the reason why Ian was a mess is because it was a longer storm. Yeah, it was wind for, for a full day before. Yeah. And then a full day after. This yep. one was kind of smaller storm. Uh, anyway, we, we survived it and everything was just fine for us. We did yeah. our pre preparation uh, and we, we did it right, I I'm feel like. I'm still putting stuff back. Yeah, we got to put it back now. <laughs> of course, hurricane season is not over for us, so hopefully yeah. nothing else springs up. They're looking at another one, but let's pray that that one doesn't come through. Anyway. Let's pray. Let's pray. But yeah, thank you everybody that that wished us well. We yes. we definitely appreciate that. Um, means a lot. We had a lot of people reaching out to us, which was great. Yeah. Uh, I want to share some updates. Um, over the weekend, I started a new channel. It's also called Break from the Grind. Mm -hmm. But what it's comp what it's about is ways to break from the grind. So uh, based on our sort of our theme with our merchandise line it's little ways to break from the grind so if you want to check out that channel there's some longer form videos that'll come out and some shorts and stuff like that i'm having a good time i just started it uh it's actually, yesterday it's really good if you want some in, uh inspiration in your life uh go check it out yep. so all you do is gotta I, I had i had to ask jason i'm like how do i do this he's just <laughs> Go to YouTube and type in, you know. So you'll see two break from the grinds. Yep. We one's, own both of those. One of them is just break from the grind. And one's a podcast. And one is break from the grind podcast. Yes. And that is this. But uh, you'll hear my voice on some of them with voiceover. M Mindy will probably be featured on some of it as yeah. well. Uh, and there's some cool stuff in there. I mean, it's just little cool stories and stuff about how to, like how camping can be a break from the grind and how friendship is valuable and different things like that. So go ahead and 
we encourage you to check it out. Yep. Uh, but that is it for this show. Hope you enjoyed it. If you love what we do and want more of us, you can check out our website, breakfromthegrind.com. The link is always provided in the show notes. Be sure to follow us on Rumble, subscribe to us on YouTube, and check out our content on all of your favorite podcatchers. We also have merch for sale. We do. So visit our website, breakfromthegrind.com, and click the store tab. It'll take you directly to one of the stores that we use, one of the print on demand stores. Currently, it is is T public red, red and then bubble. we have Redbubble. Uh, cr the current one that's connected is Redbubble. Oh, okay, good. I well, need to fix that so they have options. Yeah, and I and I am constantly every day uploading mm -hmm. new stuff. So please go back and yep, We're, keep and looking because it there's new stuff going on every single day. And new designs will be coming as we really iron things out so just be prepared for more new, new designs if you have any ideas yes, on new designs let us know we'd love your influence on our designs uh for sure so but that's it enjoy your day and thank you for listening to the jason and mindy podcast where we feature topics that serve as an informative and entertaining break from life's daily grind uh there will be a rumble show later today and then of course we'll have all of our shows this week thank you guys for tuning in hope you enjoyed that Share your stories about, about marriage and how you've gotten through it if you're in a long marriage. Yes, we would. Or maybe well. your horror stories. We'll hear those as well. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.